Today we have with us Sandeep, who is going to be teaching us chemical thermodynamics as such. So Sandeep, what does chemical thermodynamics consist of? See, uh, name itself tells us that chemical thermodynamics. Okay. Dynamics means motion. Okay. So thermo means heat. Okay. So here we are studying about dynamics motion of, of motion. Heat. Right. Dynamics, dynamics of, of motion. Okay. It's dynamics of heat. Okay. So uh-huh. motion of heat. All right. So what are the interesting things that we're going to study in this chapter and what should the student look forward to when he's going to be studying this chapter? In this chapter we are mainly concentrating on three laws of thermodynamics. Okay. First law, second law and third law. All then right. we'll be uh, What happened to the zeroth law? <laughs> as far as JE syllabus is concerned, mostly there are questions from first law and second law. Okay. So we are concentrating on that one. All right. And then we'll be learning about entropy and what entropy actually is then we'll be learning about gibbs free energy and these terms so w- what are things that a student should keep in mind when he's preparing for iit je as to what kind of tricky concepts can come about these specific topics that we'll study see mainly in je questions they are asking about first law about thermodynamics okay so that is dq equal to du plus dw okay so and how are you going to do sign convention in it so, okay, so the sign convention is very important yeah. okay that's, that's what we are going thing. to learn in this All chapter right. what else and we are going to see the real definition of entropy gibbs free energy and so what does entropy as such mean it's a measure of randomness oh, it's just a measure of randomness randomness fairly random so all right and what is gibbs free energy as such like gibbs free energy related? it is the energy that the system is having so that it can do some useful work with that energy what is useful work and so that one we we'll learn in the chapter okay so we're going to learn what is useful work uh, so tell me this i just want to know this so entropy is a measure of randomness yes right So we assume that big bang happened and everything was ordered after that and then it kept getting more and more random random every yes. passing day right entropy is increasing increasing so so what will happen like will it reach a limit or will it just keep increasing see if the entropy is increasing we tell that the system is spontaneous okay right so for a system to be spontaneous there is a law that entropy should be increasing okay so, so can entropy ever decrease uh it is not a spontaneous system if the entropy is decreasing so we will have to so we need to force that one and it, okay. we need to make that to decrease the entropy so the entropy of the system out so we can change it for a system and we can reduce the entropy inside the system but the surroundings will then have an increase is exactly. that what we sort of exactly doing? exactly okay so this seems fairly random the topic as such so we're going to study more about it we're going to understand what kind of questions come sign conventions very important as we've understood and we need to keep all of these concepts in mind so let's move on to the chapter